English coast 15 minutes ahead of time, sir. Wow. With this load on our back, that's good going. What the hell is that? Shuttle ignition. The situation is critical. We've got to find that shuttle. What do you know about Moonraker? Crash somewhere in the Yukon. Aircraft and shuttle total destroyed, correct? That's the official version. The truth is rather more disturbing, 007. Are you suggesting the shuttle was hijacked in midair? That's for you to find out, 007. Then California must be the place to start. Welcome to California, Mr. Bond. I like it already. I'm sure Mr. Bond is eager to start his tour. Look after Mr. Bond. See that some harm comes to him. Hang on, James. The thought had occurred to me. Vodka martini? Shaken, not stirred. Let us have no slip-ups. Or got very in trouble. Oh, really? Hey everyone, welcome back uh, to the introduction of my next build. Now, before I get into it, um, you know, I just finished the Mad Max um, Big Bopper Pursuit Cruiser. And as you know, if you followed, it's a paper model. Um, and it was my second in a row that I've done. And as I was finishing up, I mean, I really enjoyed it, but as I was finishing up, I'm looking around my bench, and I'm looking at all the models that are half-built that I needed to get finished. And um, I just, uh, you know, I was like, okay, I got to get this finished, got to get these things, knock them out, and move on, because not only do they, I want to get those out of the way, I also have some projects, new projects that I really want to start. Um, but... Um, something that happens to me very often um, maybe some of you guys can relate to this you're surfing through the web and all of a sudden you stumble upon something and you just are like oh my god I gotta do that well that's what happened with this one I stumbled upon the Moonraker space shuttle from the movie Moonraker <laughs> and I just got torqued up and I just had to go out and, and do this model um, it's another card model it's in 144 scale, so it's about the same size as some of the models, plastic styrene models that are out there. Um, so I'm going to do that, and also alongside with it, I'm going to do the USS Enterprise. This is the 1990, oh no, 1983 markings. It says it right here on it, 1983 markings. Um, so you got two different kits. They're virtually identical except for the markings are a little different. Um, the Enterprise though comes on five pages and it got, it's got about 41 parts involved in the build. The Moonraker has got four pages and about 37 parts and they go together virtually identically. Um, the website that I pulled this from, I can put it in the uh, in the link below if anyone's interested. There's a gentleman that um, has made up all of the shuttles for all the missions from I don't know from how long, but I mean he's just got piles and piles and piles of shuttle models that you can build, and also you can also build them with the different cargo that they had on those missions too really really cool um, but this is the one that really struck my fancy um, the Moonraker and then the other one being the very first space shuttle the Enterprise so um, that's what we're doing next now I'm going to show you a little bit about the parts here um, they're gonna be identical for each one except there's an extra page on this one but um, you know it's very nicely printed out um, You've got the upper wings, the nose cone section here. 
the uh, tail section and the cabin for the the windows for the cockpit. I don't know all these parts, but this here is the back end of the shuttle for where you're going to mount your engines. You've got your main body of the shuttle and the underside with some other pieces. Like I said, I, I don't know what they all are. It's kind of hard to tell when they're all laid out like this also. It really makes it kind of difficult. Um, the Enterprise page, first page is the same. Tail, nose, cockpit, and wings. Again, the back end where the engines are going to connect to. The main body. And you can compare the two. Do that real quick. So you've got the Enterprise here. Okay. And then Moonraker here. Uh, the underside, again, just like in the Moonraker. A little bit different on when it comes to the... Um, the heat shields they don't detail it as much here I don't think there are really any heat shields on this this ship at the time so maybe that's why but the attention to detail in the guy created in these are pretty pretty phenomenal and this one um, the Enterprise actually comes with an interior the cargo bay that's why I believe all this is here so we can make this probably with doors open if we so choose um, So that's pretty much it. Um, two really cool 144 scale space shuttles. One of the very first Enterprise and one, or I shouldn't say the very first Enterprise, but the first space shuttle named Enterprise and James Bond's Moonraker. So anyway, we're going to get working on these suckers and so until next time. Be strong.